article was released this week that states uh, Italy bans Sunday shopping. New deputy prime minister announces crackdown on trading laws he says are destroying families since stores were allowed to open on the Sabbath in 2012. And I thought this was quite interesting, uh, considering we understand what Bible prophecy tells us, especially considering that they are calling the Sabbath Sunday, uh, which is completely opposed to Scripture. Sunday is referred to as the first day of the week in Scripture, hence the reason why Easter is celebrated on Sunday. So clearly we know that the Bible teaches that the seventh day is the Sabbath. The article goes on to say, that the new Italian government will introduce a ban on Sunday shopping in large commercial centers before the end of the year. So that's before the end of 2018. So here in the next few months, they'll be implementing this. It continues to say that he faced pressure, the prime minister faced pressure from the Roman Catholic Church and unions, take note of that, and unions who said the country needed to keep its traditional day of rest. This is very significant. This is also proving to us that Ellen White was a true prophet. Notice what she wrote over a hundred years ago. I'm reading from Last Day Events, page 116. It's also found in Country Living, page 10. It says, the trades unions will be one of the agencies which will bring upon this earth a time of trouble such as has not been since the world began. So clearly, she wrote this in early 1900s, and we see it being fulfilled again, verifying her to be a true prophet of God, a true prophet of God, Ellen White. Another Part of the article goes on to say that earlier this year, Poland restricted Sunday shopping as the conservative government in Warsaw pushed ahead with what is said was a return to Roman Catholic values. And for those of us that study Bible prophecy, we know that the Catholic Church is the beast of Bible prophecy, is the harlot of Revelation 17, is the little horn of Daniel 7. And Daniel 8. Again, every Protestant reformer exposed the papacy to be the beast of Bible prophecy. And we know that the mark of her authority or the mark of the beast is Sunday worship. She says that the mark of her authority is Sunday worship. Sunday worship. Again, God gave no authority for a change in his law. There's no biblical scripture that says that the Sabbath was changed from Saturday to Sunday. This is man's teaching, the traditions of men, not the teachings of God, not scripture, not Bible teaching. We are true Protestants. The Bible and the Bible alone is our creed, is our manual, is our sole source of authority. Let us move on to another article that was released on the same issue. This one says, Italian government seeks to keep shops closed on Sundays. It says, Sunday trading is destroying Italian families and must be restricted, according to Minister of Labor Luigi Di Maio, who has announced a plan to order most shops in Italy to stay closed on the traditional day of rest. The article goes on to say, Amid consternation from retailers, he clarified on Monday that not everywhere would be shuttered on Sundays. Under his proposal, one in four shops would be allowed to do business on the seventh day with stores taking it in turns to be among the 25 percent. What's very interesting is that these articles are stating that Sunday is the seventh day of the week. And this is what has transpired over in Europe. In Europe, the majority of the countries have changed their calendar to say that Sunday is the seventh day of the week and not Saturday being the seventh day of the week. And this is a tool of the enemy to corrupt God's teaching so that individuals who are keeping Sunday may be led to believe that they're keeping the Sabbath when in reality they're honoring the papacy, they're honoring a man, they're honoring Satan. Remember, Satan has every counterfeit for the things of God. God has given us Saturday, 
the seventh day of the week, the true Sabbath. And Satan has instituted Sunday that he may receive worship because he desires worship as he uses his system, the Catholic Church. As we see all the abominations going on in the Catholic Church with child sex abuse, no true Christian would ever take advantage of children to consume their lust. And these abominations that we see being exposed within the Catholic Church now, God is proving that Revelation 18 is being fulfilled, which says that she would be the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. Therefore, God says, come out of her, my people, is what he says in Revelation 18 and verse 4. God is calling his children out from Catholicism, out from the various churches that honor Sunday, Methodist Church, Baptist Church, Presbyterian Church, Congregationalist, non-denominational churches that are honoring Sunday. God is calling his children out of them at this very hour. Now is the time to make the decision to stand upon the truth of God's word, which says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day, Saturday, the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day, wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. There is a blessing for you and I in honoring the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. There's a blessing for you and I. And God desires for us to honor the true Sabbath, which is Saturday to honor his day as the creator of heaven and earth. Notice what it says as we continue. One other article that I'd like to bring out on this matter. It says, New Italian government proposes a ban on Sunday shopping. It says, Returning to a traditional day of rest would benefit families, said Deputy Prime Minister Luigi Di Maio. Italy's new government announced on Sunday that it will move to ban Sunday shopping in large commercial centers in order to protect the family. It goes on to say, Deputy Prime Minister said on Sunday that a new government would seek to reverse the 2012 liberalization of Sunday shopping laws put forward by then Italian Prime Minister Mario Monti and opposed by the Catholic Church. It says, in March of this year, Poland banned shopping on Sundays, a move supported by the Catholic Church and the Trade Union Solidarity, which fought for a day off for its workers. Remember, again, fulfilling that Ellen White is a true prophet, she told us that labor unions would bring about a time of trouble. Continuing, it says, a 2015 ban on Sunday shopping in Hungary was repealed a year after it went into effect due to its unpopularity. If Sunday shopping were indeed restricted once again in Italy, the country would join several other European countries, including Hungary, Germany, Austria, France, and Spain in limiting Sunday shopping in varying degrees. Brothers and sisters, this is all showing us we are going to see a national Sunday law here in America. How do we know this? Remember, the Roman Catholic Church is the first entity, the first nation to be a church state entity, a religio political power in Bible prophecy, the first ever to be a first state civil power. And with that, as we see church and state uniting here in America, as Donald Trump and the evangelicals are uniting, this church state union is going to lead to a national Sunday law right here in America. Brothers and sisters, Bible prophecy is fulfilling. Will you take a stand to honor the Bible, to honor Jesus, to surrender your life to Christ and stand upon his word?
Not upon a man's word, but upon the Bible and the Bible alone. Now is the time for the true Protestant to stand up exposing the papacy and honoring God's law, uplifting the full law of God in obedience and honoring the seventh day Sabbath. Will you remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy? Why would God say remember? Why? Because God knew that man would forget as church and state unites to lead people to forget God's law, God wants his true servants to uplift that law at this very hour. And as we close, brothers and sisters, let us not forget that previous generations were tested upon this point. In Babylon, a law was passed that everybody had to bow down to an image in Daniel chapter 3. And as the three Hebrew boys chose not to bow down to the image, they were then cast into the fiery furnace. But God delivered them. God saved their lives. And God is showing you and I, just as the government at that time, as the government at that time passed a law opposing God's law, we are now in our time seeing the government's passing laws that will oppose God's law. We know we must obey God rather than man. And God will save us just as he saved Daniel and the three Hebrew boys when the governments in their time passed laws opposing God's law. Let us be true to Christ because Christ is the word. And as we are true to the word, we are being true to Christ. May we exercise true faith at this time, as the end of all things is at hand. Jesus is God.